Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Void Fox, and this is Avalanche 2 Super Avalanche, where you play as a marshmallow trying to escape the ever rising lava beneath you. It's an endless vertical arcade platformer for one to two players and is developed by Beast Games. I'm super excited to be trying this out. This game looks incredibly fun. I mean, first of all, you're a marshmallow, and <laughs> come on. In any game where you're a marshmallow, you got to play it. So here we are. Uh, this actually stemmed or is sort of a uh, an enhancement over the free Flash game that this came out a few years back, I believe. I I've never actually personally played that Flash game, so this is all new to me. And I, I, I stumbled upon this game not too long ago. I thought to myself, okay, I have to play this. I mean, it, it just spills charm and fun. And it's an endless procedural platformer. You know, vertical, jumping, constantly. And you're a marshmallow. <laughs> anyway, enough about that. Let's let's go on. So you're this marshmallow, dude. As you can see, my guy's got a mouth. Uh, that's because you can actually save up coins and buy things from custom shops. You can actually customize the way your marshmallow looks. <laughs> which, which is absurdly funny and awesome. Uh, so all these different things I can buy... Uh, I've already have a few coins saved up, and it looks like I can buy some basic eyes if I wanted to. Uh, looks like I can also buy uh, coins. Lighten your load. Start the game with a balloon. Oh, you can start with items that drop within the game. Uh, there's all kinds of different things here. You can change your color if you uh, buy if you have enough money. I can get a little bow. Pretty bow, don't you look nice? <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the shop. So we'll we'll revisit that after. Uh, we, you have the ability to uh, select missions that you find as you climb. And there's different types of miss missions and challenges that if you can complete will give you a bonus, uh, ec bonus XP and bonus coins. Um, so we can look at that another time. And then there's endless play. You can also do this all with another player uh, currently on uh, the same local machine. With another controller or, or with the keyboard. But we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it with endless play. So here we are. The lava beneath us is constantly rising. We just picked up a power-up power, uh, power up slot so we can hold one power-up currently. And basically the objective is don't get squashed. And right now, uh, there's a lot of stuff falling from this guy. You can, you can jump on enemies. Yeah! And you get coins for it. And whoa! Okay, not good. Ah! <laughs> That didn't last long. <laughs> All right. Well, I made it 44.9 feet. As you can see, my record was 515 feet. Of course, I did that when I wasn't recording. So we're going to go ahead and, and restart. <laughs> oh, God, that's great. So as you collect XP and, and level up, you actually unlock new items that can drop within the game. And these items are power-ups that give you, like, sort of passive buffs. Like, you can jump higher, or you can hold on to the edges of the walls, things like that. Uh, the colors in this game... Is, uh, sort of reminds me of the SNES days, doesn't it? Oh, here's a chest. Should give us... Oh, there's a bunch of coins. I think if you jump on this cloud, you get some coins. Some will give you items. There we go. So I sort of... Just sort of... Taking care of that. Ooh! Killing enemies will give you items, which is nice. Whoa! Uh, you can hang onto the walls and sort of climb them like that, which is great. More coins. Uh, if you die, you lose your coins. So there is a here's a shop. You can spend your coins and get power ups if you want. Uh, I'm gonna do this and get a second uh, power up slot, or you can bank them. Oh boy! Oh no! <laughs> uh, I think that was the bank. <laughs> I unlocked an item in the shop: small potatoes. Okay, that's cool. So we went uh, 110 feet. Not too bad. We got a climb bonus of 5 coins, which automatically goes into the bank. But as you play, you can actually collect those coins and store them in a bank. And that obviously randomly falls from the sky at any any point in time. This little jumpy thing. I don't know how I got to over 500 feet. Go figure, I wasn't recording. No! Oh, wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh boy, this is bad. So you can break blocks. Uh, in case you get stuck like that. I thought that was a very clever mechanic. Prevents you, uh, prevents, like, if the pattern of blocks sort of 
screws you. It gives you some form of... Ooh! Okay, that's an enemy. Some form of chance of getting out. Whoa, okay, that's going to squish that. You want to jump over? Yeah, there's not really much I can do here. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, this is not good. So we're just going to break this block. Because I have to. I have some coins. Let's see what this is. It's, uh, coins are ma magnetized. Alright, so it looks like they sort of... Uh, whoa! That was close. And there's a bank, so I could withdraw what I have in the bank, or I can just deposit what I have. No. And I think items actually act as a... as almost like a buffer. And what, that, what I mean by that is you can actually get hit. Uh, or, or die. Oh, there's a mission I was talking about. You click those and it adds to your mission list. Uh, you can get hit and uh, lose your item, but you won't die, kind of thing. Alright. Where am I going? This is getting a little ridiculous. Whoa. Thank you, platform. Oh. What's that power up? Double jump. Uh, I think I'll take that over the... Whoa, okay. So, here you actually, every X amount of feet, you face a boss. <laughs> Which I never expected to see in this type of game. Uh, I think that's pretty sweet. And like most bosses and things of this nature in this game, you just jump on them. Oh, boy. Danger. Danger! No, he's calling his chickies! Get out of here! Oh no! So yeah, it does work. So getting those power-ups does act as a way of uh, allowing you to take a hit. Another really cool mechanic, actually. I do like that. Alright, I don't have the double jump anymore. You can go over uh, from screen to screen. This guy's not coming down much. Uh, tornadoes! Need to get on this block and get on top of his curly-ass hair. He's not making this easy. Okay, we got more chickies coming. Oh, come on. Nope. We got a combo there. And that's interesting. I didn't... Oh, combo experience. I didn't see... Uh, I saw a bar there, actually. I must have meant something. I can just... There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we're just going to constantly try to... There. Nice. We got a chest after that, which is beautiful. We get an extra life follower. Uh, revive when you die. So there's also uh, followers in this game, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> I like how it's a green mushroom. A little Odie to Mario there. And these little cloud blocks. I went to deposit my coins because I like to save. There's a power up there, so now we have uh, balloons. So we jump higher and uh, fall slower. So we're in a good spot. Like, I love this game. I I've literally played it for the amount of time I've been recording here, and just a bit after that, or before that, to get the hang of it. Oh no! Thank you for the extra life! <laughs> and uh, anyway, I absolutely love it. I adore this game. It's it's so easy to pick up and play. I just withdrew coins. But I, I don't want to do that. I want to just deposit, because I like to save my coins. And this is probably going to bite me in the ass here. But I absolutely adore this game. We're starting to see different types of enemies now. There we go. I could have bought a shield. Ooh. Um, okay, let's see what happens if I break this. Will that other block come tumbling down on me? Uh, yes, it will. Oh, boy. Oh, enemies. Enemies everywhere. Ooh. What? That killed me? <laughs> I didn't even get squished. Four to three like feet. Hot damn. Okay, so we, uh, looks like there's some stuff in the custom shop. It's got a little exclamation mark. Probably telling me that there's uh, new items in the shop. Uh, Outlast badge. So yeah, so you can actually have up to four cosmetic items on at once, it seems. And then you can wear badges. And then there's these passes. So uh, let's just take a look. Here's an example of a badge. Start with an extra life and double the amount of enemies. So badges obviously have a sort of give and take, you know, risk reward kind of mechanic. Uh, let's see, this badge cuts the number of enemies in half. Okay. Uh, need missions? You'll find three times as many jobs with this. And take a risk, twice as many coins, but the lava is twice as fast. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, we got a bit of money. Let's, uh... Should we give this guy some bookish glasses, only to be worn ironically? <laughs> so why don't we buy those? Why not? Let's just have some fun here. So we have those in our inventory. We're gonna place those here. And now, there we go. Now we're like, uh, like a nerd marshmallow. <laughs> Isn't that great? God, this game is so good. So let's take a, some. Let's look, take a look at some missions. I've collected a few over time. Looks like you can have two active missions at a time and one challenge. 
If you happen to fail or die while the mission is active, you lose the mission. So that's just a uh, something to keep in mind. So let's see. Well, at least that's what it looks like. See, this one says one game. So 50 coins, one game, collect 50 coins in a single game, and I'll get 10 coins and XP as a reward. So let's go ahead and put that here. Okay, so we'll, let's try that. So let's start a game. See if we can collect 50 coins with my new glasses and my funky mouth. See, when you start off, you're just a marshmallow. No mouth, no eyes, nothing. Just a blob of delicious marshmallow-y goodness. Look at this guy. Oh, boy. Snakes gives us coins. Let's take him out. Oh, okay, that could have been bad. The controls are very responsive. Uh, I'm using an Xbox controller, by the way. So it works well with the Xbox controller. I find it a lot easier to play with the Xbox controller over the keyboard, but that's just me. Uh, the original Flash game, of course, uh, you needed the... Oh, what am I doing? No! My box! Oh, oh, cool. Climbing gloves. Okay, climbing gloves gives us uh, the ability to sort of hold on to the edge. See? Like that. Uh, which is nice. Of course. Danger! Danger! Oh, you silly bird. Why you do? Oh, there's a big coin. That's worth 30 coins. Nice. Okay, we need two more coins for this mission. Two more coins, baby. Uh, we are traveling. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to do that. I'm not going to withdraw the coin. Oh, oh, hold on. Let me get on this. That should give us our mission. I think that worked. Um, do I have to? Can I not spend them? I'm not sure if I need to spend them or not. I'm, I'm assuming I don't. I do have room for another power-up, which is pretty sweet. I gotta find myself. Ah, there we go. It should give us either coins or another power-up. There we go. So now we can hold on to the edge and double jump. Very nice. I'm a big fan of that. Oh boy. Whoa. Okay, that could have been bad. Holy! <laughs> oh, this game is so good. It's so good, guys. I highly, highly recommend it. Go get it right now. Information is down below. Okay, who are we up against? Oh, crazy. This is very... This stuff reminds me of Mario. Uh, very heavily influenced by... Even the colors, I, I, I find. Very he heavily influenced by... Oh, okay, what do we got here? Uh, another power-up slot. We can have three. We just found another uh, mission. Or a challenge, I should say. That's pretty sweet. So I guess the mission won't... Uh, as long as you collect up to 50, then it will... Uh, maybe rewards you after, after the round's over. So we're doing okay. No! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, so the okay the mission is awarded you out after the end. Oh, I could I could have had a lot of coins there to bank. Oh my god! Okay, let's do it again. This game has an amazing you know play it one more round type of allure to it. Like I I don't want to stop. Uh, the game I think is currently uh, available for pre-order, and you get instant access to the beta. Ten bucks. A wicked deal. Like, look at this. How much fun you have. How much fun I'm having. This is probably very risky, what I'm doing. <laughs> Whoa! Not bad, not bad. See, once you kind of get the hang of the controllers, or the controls, you can really do some funky stuff. Oh, wall jumping. There we go. Nice. Liking it. So, yeah. Oh, let's deposit what little coins I have. Ooh, I don't have any power-ups yet, either. Guess it's not the end of the world. There's a shield, but I can't get it because it's... It's blocked! And I don't have enough coins to buy that, which, although I could now, if I get this, drop down, now I get a shield. Protects against two hits. Ooh! Whoa, my... la de la That's just magnetic. I, I prefer the shield, I think. So we're just gonna go with the shield. Upwards, we're at 163 feet. Doing okay... I just withdraw coins. I don't do that. I want to put them into there. Whoa, boy. Oh, I missed! Ooh. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> okay, look out for this thing. We can punch it in the face. There's another challenge. Collect that. That's a bunch of coins. Wow, that's, that's getting dangerous right there. Double jump there would be nice. Oh, nice. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Uh, boss time. Who are we up against? I assume the bosses are random. I'm not sure if it's the same boss each time. 
There we go. That boss isn't too difficult. And the power up here is speedster follower. Permanently move faster. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Wanting to move faster. Just to get adjusted to the, the playstyle, I guess. The movement speed. Whoa. Okay, newer enemy types coming out. We still haven't found another uh, another power up slot. That would be nice to have. Would really like that. What the hell is that thing? What? Is that a unicorn squid thing? Oh no! I was hoping to get above it. There we go. I can only take one more hit. Damn floaty spongy squares. Whoa. Take you out. Thanks for the coins. You gotta find a bank. That was coins. I'm okay with that. I like how those followers... Oh! Okay, there goes our... Uh, there goes our... Uh, uh, power up. So this is... Oh, there! I didn't see the fire! No! <laughs> how far did I get? Oh, I'm averaging about 400 feet now on, on each run, I suppose. I'm getting a little bit better. I have 117 banked. Very nice. Uh, let's go check out the custom shop. Why is it saying three? Is it three new items? Is that what it's telling me? It doesn't really tell you what's new. Unless I'm blind, I'm just not seeing it. How much do I have? 117? I could buy eyes, but I'm not going to. Do I have enough for a badge? Almost. Job Seeker badge. I could get one of those at some point. I could buy a pretty little bow. <laughs> no, I'm going to save my money. Anyway, I think this is a good place to end my first episode of Avalanche 2 Super Avalanche Let's Play series. Uh, there's definitely going to be more of this game because it's so fun. I love the look, the feel, the gameplay, the progression. You know, always trying to beat your high score. Uh, all the items, the RPG elements. I mean, as simple as it is, um, and it's it's so fun. And I can't really speak to how better it is over the original Flash version, but I have a feeling it's much, much more fleshed out and a lot better than the original Flash version. So if you were at all a fan of the of the Flash uh, game of Avalanche, then I highly, highly, highly recommend picking this up. Uh, even if you never played it, and you're someone like me who's being introduced to this uh, game for the first time, uh, if you like this sort of challenging, easy to pick up and play but hard to master type of gameplay where it's procedurally different every time you play, uh, then again, I highly recommend it. It's only 10 bucks, gets you instant access into the beta. There seems to be fairly regular updates. And when you first launch the game, it gives you uh, patch notes, so you don't gotta go out there seeking them out, you know, what the latest patch does. The developer's very, uh, you know, very active it seems. So anyway, again, thank you for stopping by. There's going to be more episodes coming, and I'll catch you on the flippity-flop.